Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Nerd Fusion podcast. This is uh, episode 18 for August 16th, 2015. Welcome back. We've already uh, done 18 of these? Yeah. That's a lot. God, it doesn't feel like that many. I know, right? Like, it's, it's, it's zooming by. <laughs> it's 18 and, weeks. Uh, when did we start this? February? Well, what? 18 weeks ago. No, not February. 18 we, weeks ago. We, well, no, we, missed, announced... we missed some weeks, didn't we? Did we? Our, like, the hashtag Friday announcement was in March. So. Yeah. Yeah. And we started this the week after, I think. Yeah, right? we did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's that's crazy. Time. Yeah. I'm just like, flo like flown by, man. Flew by? Flown by? Flown. Flew by. Flew. Flown by? Flown. 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 It has flew. flown by. Flew. I mean, by. I just su resubscribed to the Nerd Fusion channel for the fourth month in a row. So Me that's, too. That, that's kind of a metric, I suppose. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so apparently the last few episodes have been marked as mature on iTunes. Yeah, and, and <laughs> you guys are we're saying that we're going to make an effort to not make it mature this week. No, we're definitely not. Or, no, or, we're going or with that trend. Is it the other way? We're just going to always screw mark them it. as mature. Yeah, screw yeah. It. Are we I, screwing it at this is point? That what we're doing? At this point, fuck it. Oh, <laughs> there we go. I there don't we go. care anymore. <laughs> I used to care, and then now I just whatever. It's never. You know what? It's, waffle it's will always screw with up. Waffle, yeah, that's yeah. not <laughs> my fault. Okay, that's waffle not my fault. Waffle. It's not my fault. There's no way it's my fault. I, it I is would your love. Fault. I would Excuse love me. I wasn't the one talking about dicks and semen on like two podcasts ago, and then that carried over <laughs> you into brought poop. it up right now. You hypocrite. No. We, we've been talking about poop for like the last five weeks. <laughs> that's, and that's not, not on me. We need to stop. That's, that's not, not on me. That's yeah, can we please stop talking about poo? Okay, sure. Fine. Let's get to our first article. So you didn't uh, even say who we were. Yeah, who are who we? are we? Oh, I was just so excited for that. You were. <laughs> <laughs> it was so. Apropos. I know, and you, now you know it's, what the article. It's about. apropos. Okay. Uh, oh, anyway, geez. you're right. Introductions. I'm sorry. I'm Bacon Donut, and otherwise known as Posh Spice, and uh, this is Giant Waffle here. He's Scary Spice, and That's we have scary. Dan's oh. Gaming Ginger Ooh. Spice, and <laughs> Sevenus Sporty Spice, and of course, Pause on Pause. Baby spice. Aw. <laughs> Have you purchased like a pacifier yet? Did you get a haircut pause? Not yet, no. I gotta get a haircut before PAX. I just I gotta get one know. too. My hair is getting so long. But I figured go like, you know, soon. PAX is two weeks. I'll just wait until like That's gonna go by fast. Like yeah. so fast. Oh yeah. So Can we change to topics? <laughs> <laughs> triggered. Dad's triggered with the haircut. <laughs> <laughs> you can get hair toupee thing done. Yeah, I'm gonna get a weave. Yeah, and how about this? Yeah. How about this? When Dude. I cut my hair, I'll get like the lady to sweep it up, and you can glue it on top of your head. <laughs> you know what? Easy. Pause. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh <Damn>. God. <laughs> Yo, talking about that. I guess we can say <laughs> that now. We still have our suits cut. <laughs> it begins. We gotta go suit shopping. Oh. We yeah. have plans to look really good at PAX. Wow. Like, like in like, literal suits? Like okay. yeah. Well, not like suits. Just like nice jackets. Oh. I've always well, wanted well, a I was nice say, jacket. Join me and Chad for Fancy Friday. We're, we're, I we're used to do Friday. Fancy Friday, actually. Yeah. I love Fancy did, Friday. Yeah. I did it for a while, and then it got so freaking hot in my room, I just decided I that's, couldn't do it anymore. That's exactly you know what, what I do? Me, oh my yeah. god. No pants? No pants. I, I, I just have my shorts on, and then yep. I have, like, <laughs> I did it after a while, you know, I did that like, too. I, I can't do it, because like, like you said, it's so hot. Like When you have like layers on, it's just like, it's you're ridiculous. literally sweating. In, in, the, in yeah. the beginning days of my casting, before I was full-time, I used to do casual Fridays. Uh, as a joke, and it was that was when I dressed up. Oh yeah, for because because my the place that I worked for had casual Fridays, and so anyway, but I haven't done that for ages because it got too freaking hot in there with mm -hmm. all the lights. What if like, we had a dress code? What only like underwear? In the studio, yeah. Uh, only if underwear. You, like, please, yeah, only underwear. Wife beaters. Only you can socks. do wife beaters. Wife right? beaters. Could, we, did they allow that on Twitch? They do. Doctors they do. must be visible at all times. Yeah, only it's socks weird. allowed. Everything else has come off. <laughs> Only but socks allowed. Banana yeah. hammocks and wife beaters. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, yes. I think you can do that. I think you could do that, actually. Now, would the banana hammock go above the wife beater or below? Tuck it in. Oh, Tuck it into it. All I can imagine is like, you know, with the meetings and like the pep top after, you know, you just slap each other in the ass. Just like, All right, go get them, guys. Oh, that's wow. brilliant. I love okay. how a shirt gets the nickname wife beater. Yeah. Right? How does that happen? I, I, I just say it so casually. I don't oh. understand. I don't love that. <laughs> Is there another name for it? Yeah, tank top. Tank, tank top, top, but tank tops are what's no, called a no. ladies' what? wear. You call it a bro tank. A bro or a tank, come on. Who or does a sleeveless that? tee. Or... Guys, I'm going to the beach in my tank top. It's not That's a sleeveless tee. No, it's bro, an nice eye. tank. Where'd you get that tank from? Call it an eye shirt then. 
I, I'm sorry. What? Well, what? it's it's not a T, right? Like it's just like a straight, oh, and then like your head you is like the, the dot. Cut the off a T, and your it head is an like eye. the oh, dot. Oh, <laughs> that I was an attempt at a pun. I get, oh, it. I get it. It's an it's an eye shirt. Okay. I feel like you've <laughs> okay. you've used this before. Well, no, sleeveless T. That does not make any sense. If you take the T, right, and you take the sleeves off, it's it's an eye then. It's okay. like when people say, "I love everything except," and it's like, "Well, you just said you love everything. You can't just say except. Like you just have to like." Well, you can't. It's an exception to the rule. Yeah, but yeah. don't make the rule. If there's an exception to it, make you know state every. You know what? I love. I'm just saying. Do you believe in anything waffle. government related? <laughs> <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Never get into public. Wow. Like insane. Yeah. Is that something? Like, I love everything besides pistachios. Can't you just say I don't like pistachios? Isn't that like simple? I mean, wow. no. Because then, what if you dislike other things too? Well, then yeah. just state that. Well, I'm How not going to go through it? a list of things. I, I know, hate. but if that's the case, you have to anyways to clarify it. it. I'm just saying. How sounds hard? Sounds more positive. When no. You say I love, but instead of I hate. I know? love. No, but. that's like I saying. Love, like, <laughs> I love, but. I love, but. Dance gaming 2015. <laughs> God. Oh, so it's like when people start a sentence with like no offense, like they're about to say the most offensive thing oh, to your oh, face, yeah, and you just have to oh, deal yeah. with it because oh, they said no yeah. offense, it's okay. All right. What I'm about to say is totally not racist. Like no offense, Dan, but I hate bald yeah. people. It's like I don't want to be racist, <laughs> but right, no, I'm not yeah. racist, but that's that's the worst. You are like the most racist person. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Can we stop popping these microphones? I know I'm here. I'm like moving it farther and yeah. farther away. I think you you said, oh, I don't get loud. Yeah, and, and he's already popped, popped like it like three times. Make me laugh. I'm sorry. I think there's filters for that, isn't there? Pop filters, right? It's so you guys have them. Kind of this is more like peaking popping. Yeah. Uh, this is like air. Yeah. For plosives. Pop filters are for plosives. So speaking plosives. of speaking of butt, let's uh, let's get to our first article. Um, See, there was still a transition for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cool yes. Okay. So this this comes straight to us from South Korea. Um, oh there is a new cafe that, that has de debuted in South Korea that is entirely poop themed. That's wait, wait, wow. weird. That's pretty. I love those, okay. those cappuccinos in, in the, the little first, toilets. The <laughs> first uh, sentence of the article is poop has never been this adorable. Okay, no, first and foremost, <laughs> I mean, if there's a country that'll do that, yeah. Can they please be called cappuccinos, please? Oh, cappuccinos, <laughs> please. That'd be amazing. <laughs> the, 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 if not, they're missing out. Honestly, it sounds like a shitty restaurant. <laughs> oh my god, I could totally see this. I lived there, right? I uh -huh. lived there for like a year. I could totally see this as being a thing. They have okay. all types of cafes. Like, it, like in Japan, you can like eat like a rabbit cafe, and those give you rabbits. They like you eat like little snacks with. How cool is that? I mean, and you can like choose whatever <laughs> what? rabbit you want. They have like cats and owl cafes. It's crazy. They have every type of cafe. They have maid cafes where all the girls are like maid outfits. Oh wow! Is this like mm -hmm. your like your thing that you want to do? Like some people have. Like, I want to be a maid in a maid cafe where they want to like visit all the barbecue establishments in, in the <laughs> United States that are good. Like you have a thing where you want to go to all these weird ass cafes. I would like to visit some when we go to Japan together. In Japan. Yeah. Look at these cups. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. They're little mini toilets. Yeah, mini it's toilet awesome. cups. And there's like the poop emoji that they're the, like they look like air fresheners. Oh my god, that tea bag uh -huh. looks like a floater. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does. There's, there does. <laughs> there's cookies shaped like a pile of poop. Uh huh. It's something I could see totally working over there, though. Uh, as well, long yeah. as so is okay. there something scatological about no, South Korea? No, it's, just, it's like... just if you take something that's not normally like cute and you make it cute, it will absolutely kill over there. Huh. That's how that Honestly, works. I would eat there as long as nothing's flavor like poop. As long as it's yeah. like good right. things. Okay, all right. As long so as this, it doesn't so taste this, like crap. You so, know? <laughs> so this begs the question. If you could make your own like weirdly themed cafe, what would it be? Weird, like really weird. Yeah, weird? you're talking about you know all those weird cafes or whatever. Like Underwater you, cafe. Mm, you have underwater. to like dive to go to it. That exists. I'm pretty sure. And very exclusive. There's that sounds awesome. There, there, there are restaurants. It would like be that. very exclusive just because of what it is. Exactly. You wouldn't even yeah. need to make it exclusive. Exactly. <laughs> you want to come eat here? You better have a snorkel equipment ready to go. I'm feeling like, so exclusive. There's like no address. You don't even know where to go dive in. Just you like in a to, manhole. You just, yeah. just spread word of you mouth. You have to like go through an airlock just to get your lunch. That would be yeah. cool. It's a really exclusive restaurant. Well, they have that in to, the hotel, right? The yeah. underwater hotel is the airlock mm. stuff. Dude, that place looks so cool. I've seen like a few pictures from yeah. like underwater resorts and stuff. Oh. Yeah. 
It's just still like underwater. it's so much work. It, they have to clean to, like that to like stuff go all the down time. there. Like when I check into my hotel, I just want to swipe a card. Right. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. that's too much work. Now they've got us all like pampered with these. You just touch it. It's like how do you bring? I'm too lazy to there. swipe. Now, now I just even touch. You, sometimes <laughs> they even have it on your phone. They'll have like a smart key, and you just gotta walk near it, and mm -hmm. it'll be good to go. Oh yeah, like with mm -hmm. the near, uh, with the near field communication stuff. Like you just oh yeah get close to it, and it'll. Did you just say Disney. near field? That sounds RFID? creepy. I don't like that. Isn't that no, that? NFC. It's oh, different. Okay. It's different. Uh, like the NFC is, or I don't know which one is used okay. at Disney. One of them is used at Disney. I actually wanted their, to get an thing. RFID chip embedded in my hand for a while. They they make grain size, like rice grain size I, RFID chips. I we, met someone. Yeah, we know uh, someone who does yeah, that. How cool that would that be? That. Because you could just scan it. What would you put on it? Anything. I could use it on like, my computer. It doesn't matter. Like my, my core. Uh, my core the, my unless you had like a specific purpose. I mean, I'm just the, saying it's... The person it's that so I know, to do. the person that I know, was using it as a as a alternative to two factor authentication. Mm -hmm. So there's like the, like in the chip in her arm is yeah. is a special code that she can pair with uh, yeah. with software on her laptop or whatever to log into websites. Yeah. Something you are, something you have, God, something you know. It sucks when that like software stops working. That's creepy, right? man. That's mm -hmm. creepy. <laughs> no, but you can get kits to do it. They're really cheap mm -hmm. too, and it's just like a it's an 18 gauge needle, and it's just like. Easy to do. I want to do it for a while. Gauge 18 gauge needle. Gauge? It's, not, oh my God. it's not that big. <laughs> Dude, you, okay. you're like driving a nail, a roofing <laughs> nail into your skin. It just sits there. No I think it's 18 gauge. Okay. They're probably smaller now. All right. So Waffle wants an underwater cafe. What about you guys? Um, I would do a Care Bear cafe. Oh. And instead of coffee, we would serve Carefee. And you can serve, you can drink as much as you can bear. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Uh, how long were you thinking of that this whole no, no, time? You no, weren't even no, paying he attention to our conversation. He was waiting for that. He was waiting for that. Well, I had that in seconds. That's amazing. I'm just waiting for my moment. I mean, mine's mine's predictable and boring. You know, bacon themed. It's. I mean. God. Okay. Is this weird to say? I don't want to say this and get in trouble. Sometimes you can't have too much bacon. Oh yeah, I agree. Yeah. I feel like no, I'd agree sometimes with that. there's just too much bacon in things. I've never had that. I've never reached that limit though. Bacon vodka is the limit. That's what we discovered. Yeah. Oh, well, I, yeah. I okay. I don't drink, so I've never tasted the bacon hey. vodka. But m the problem with most bacon, not most, but a lot of bacon flavored stuff that That's gets the trendy, stuff, bacon flavor. Is they put artificial bacon flavor in it, which is like the gross. It's like, it like is, two yeah. It tastes it's gross. like it tastes mm -hmm. like. Uh, it tastes like you scraped the ashes off the bottom of a grill, and it tastes like a it, meat yeah. toothpaste. And by a grill, I mean like a barbecue, not. <laughs> I, I remember, the mic like, again. I am <laughs> not popping the mic. I'm just going to talk away from the microphone the whole yeah. time, and no one's going to notice it was me. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just going to push this over here, and you guys can't hear me. It's okay. What? You'll just hear me twice. <laughs> I don't really like bacon-flavored things. I just like yeah, yeah. bacon flavor is absolutely just disgusting. Eat no, bacon. No, no, Would you people, stop doing that? I didn't that? Mean to hit it, man. <laughs> Take his microphone away. You don't, even have, you oh, don't have to. Just don't touch it ever. I, You're I fine. Have to touch it. Museum he, rules. No touching. He, he had to touch it. I just like so bacon. Like people why have sent bacon? me. Yeah. people have sent me so many bacon stuff. Like, have bacon, you had the bacon bubble gum? Bacon that soda. Stuff is gross. Bacon oh, soda. Bacon, bacon soda. toothpaste. I have a highlight of me licking bacon soap. Uh, it's you know. Ew, why would stuff. you do uh, that? Well, it. Could you imagine, you know, like, like, if you had a dog and you just bathed yourself with bacon soap? How well, <laughs> awful that experience bacon, would be. Bacon soap would clean your palate. <laughs> oh my. God. God. I, I tried to clean my palate with toilet paper or Kleenex or something, and then because I'm like sticking in, in the highlight, like I lick, <laughs> I lick the soap, and then it was so disgusting I didn't want to put my tongue back in my mouth, <laughs> and so I just grabbed the nearest nearest Kleenex that I could and started trying to wipe it off my tongue, and, and that then, got stuck in your Then mouth. it stuck to my yeah. tongue, and then I spent five minutes trying to pick little pieces of paper oh. off my tongue. It was awful. The, the moral of that story is artificial bacon is terrible. There's so yeah. like, I, I think like the new trend aside from bacon is sriracha now. Like there's so uh, yes, many sriracha yeah. things. So like, sriracha trendy. like lip it. balm. Like why so would you, trendy? I've seen that like in Asian burn. restaurants what for years and years, yeah. and all of a sudden it's yeah. making a huge. Well, the one before thing. that was Chipotle. Like sriracha is like the new Chipotle because Chipotle was so trendy for a while and. 
I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's okay. I will admit, I like, there are some really delicious sriracha stuff out there, like sriracha Pringles. All oh, those are, those are actually awful. really good. The sriracha, no, dude. Everything sriracha, sriracha, sriracha sounds awful to me. I don't like it. I don't do it. It's, I don't one, like of the, it. it's one of the nope. best things I've ever tasted. Actually. Yeah, that sriracha per, uh, a, jerky was amazing. It's a nope. sriracha bacon jerky, and it's mm. like Oh, that sweet. sounds so good. Yeah. It, was, it was sweet. It was really good. Uh, got some of that at PAX, I mm. think. Mm. Did they have right. semen-flavored sriracha? Oh, my God. You had to do that. Just wrap it yeah, around. You brought we, it back. Don't trigger back. him. I'm, I'm sure that book You were the <laughs> one that had to leave the room. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and that complained about it all last time. I think week. we desensitized him, actually. I think that, that might be This actually. is the, the corrupting experience <laughs> happening live. Right I know. Now. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Shall we, shall we move on to where yeah, we started? Yeah, we should. Okay, so this was one. Um, By that, the way, the whole segment's going to be bleeped out for the, the brand name, right? Oh, great. And if you want to contact us, it's <laughs> yeah. sellout, right. sellout at nerdfusion.tv. Yeah. Little, I, should, I should actually make that. You I should. should. Yeah. You should. A microtransaction for the company to pay to unbleep it. Yeah. How many times can we say brand names and just have a bleep? Oh, that's funny. Man, okay. I love bleep. Uh, I think okay. that's the coolest thing about Sriracha, though. Like, it never had any advertising whatsoever. It was just all word of mouth. Right. It's and not like, like there's a If you sriracha, go to the website, like, it's like old school, too. It's it's crazy. Mm -hmm. There's not like a Sriracha like advocacy group out there that's like... like the internet <laughs> is a Sriracha advocacy, advocacy <laughs> group. Man, yeah. if only the Spice advocacy. Girls were still, still around, that would be a perfect sponsor. I know, right? Right? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, okay, so I pulled this article. Look, this is actually an old news story, but... Uh, but here it, at Nerd it, Fusion, we such, cover the latest and greatest. It, it's such <laughs> a it's such a good pun that I just couldn't resist it. Okay, so the restaurant Hooters, okay, uh, they held a contest for their employees so that one of their waitresses could win a, a, a brand new Toyota. Okay, okay. right, so, and mm -hmm. so they did the whole contest, and one of the I've heard the story. One of the waitresses won. And they gave her the prize. It was a toy Yoda. A little plastic green. Dan, you should be laughing your ass off right now. Right there. I would. I find. <laughs> I would, but that's little just toy mean. Yoda. That is mean. And, right? And that and is she, pretty mean. And she sued them and she won. I would assume. I was going to say, there had to be a lawsuit out of this. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Because I'll bet they typed it in paper like Toyota the car uh -huh. or something like that. So uh, her attorney said that he could not disclose the settlement details, but uh, think she got a Toyota. <laughs> but but <laughs> they can now go to a local car dealership and pick up whatever kind of Toyota they want. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> go expensive. All yeah. the oh, yeah. right? expensive. Um, All Lex the options. You think Lexus counts as Toyota? <laughs> no, I don't think a Lexus counts as a Toyota. <laughs> it's made by Toyota. I understand, but I don't think it counts oh as a Toyota. Got like an LFA or something ridiculous. See now, this is the kind of wordplay that I can totally see Seven is pulling on us, like, yeah. like, like doing. Right? This has like me getting. I'm like paid. churning with ideas <laughs> yeah. right yeah. now. Like, health insurance. He's, he's the guy that yeah. writes our contracts health and stuff. And that's, yeah, you just this gave him great, the idea. Now great, he's gonna do it fantastic. to us. <laughs> the, the daily donger agreement. It's like, what are we agreeing right. to? This well, we just we just got in the mail. We got ghost chili peppers. Um, that yeah. I'm certainly not going to eat Dude, I from Krusty those. Mustard. He yeah, gave us so oh, spicy. I'll do it. Krusty. I'll do it. Let's go. Dan, you want to go? In. Wow, that's a straight-up volunteer. We Let's don't even go. have to I'm, trick you guys. I don't even have to think twice. I'm in. You'd I'm have to whatever. damn well I've trick always wanted me. to do it. No, no what <laughs> I think we should do, mm -hmm. I think we should have a hot pepper version of this podcast. Yeah. Where at the beginning, we all eat a pepper, and then we have to go through the whole podcast without taking a drink. You know I, I drink. See, you you see how much I drink water? Oh, I think I would God. literally die. <laughs> <laughs> that's my problem. Yeah. I'm pretty sure my throat would close. <laughs> yep. I, I ate those exact peppers, and I did it for like like the Zelothon charity for winter or for Christmas last year and i ate it it was like burning in my stomach for hours like i could how did it my like how did it feel like exiting <laughs> oh it was just as bad it was just really as bad. Oh, yes man. Yeah. i feel like yeah. that would be the worst part yeah. is that the worst part of those you were psychologically over it and then you realize you know oh. you know what someone dared me to eat it again so i ate it and what? because i didn't want to feel that I threw it up because like uh -huh. I didn't want to digest it and have it sit in my stomach. Like it's uh. like literally like just lava. Oh, but see, if you threw uh. it up, there's the risk that it would end up going into your nose. Yeah, but it's better than your nose. At least your it's over. At least it's over at, at, least it's oh, over at that point. Oh my god. The yeah. worst part about it is I don't like milk. So eat ice cream. You like oh, ice cream? Yeah, ice, ice cream. cream. 
That's just I cold that. milk. Okay, I like milk, but I really only like strawberry milk. Is that weird? That is weird. Do you I like chocolate milk? Not really. I don't like chocolate milk at I'm all. I'm more of a strawberry mm-hmm. milk fan. Like, I love strawberry milk. Oh, my gosh. Well, like, you, like, you like sugar. Okay. You like the strawberry flavor. Okay well, I like, they make strawberry the milk with, like, actual strawberries and stuff, which is really good. It's still sugar. I guess it's natural sugar stuff, but mm-hmm. like, it's probably not natural. But Gotta read the ingredients. Yeah. High fructose... Corn. Strawberry it's syrup. Strawberry syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this milk have 100 grams of sugar in it? Mm. Wow, it tastes amazing. I love Actually, it. the oh, only geez. thing that I used to buy at Starbucks before they came out with all this extra stuff that I still don't like uh, is I would get a vanilla steamer, which sounds like that it's awful. Sexual, that sounds right? like it sounds thing. like a Cleveland yeah. steamer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. oh, God. A vanilla steamer. It's not on the menu. Yeah, don't <laughs> order one of those in Cleveland. <laughs> no, I, I will, I'll, try, I'll, try, I'll try not to. With the with the picture of the guy on Twitter with the Cleveland. God, everything uh, wraps around on this podcast. Yeah, anyway, right? ridiculous. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, so vanilla steamer, it's just it's hot vanilla. It's just hot milk with like squirts of vanilla syrup. That sounds amazing. It that is incredible. Why? And so, like, every time I'd go to Starbucks, like, all my friends were like, oh, I love coffee. This, I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to throw up in here. And so I found the vanilla steamer, and they put it in the same cup as a coffee cup and everything. So you're like... I just get hot cocoa. Yeah. What's up? I don't yeah. even like hot Dude, chocolate. they made, um, for a while, I don't know if they still make it, like, it's like a car- sea salt caramel hot chocolate, which oh. I didn't think... That, oh, it's so sea good. Sea salt caramel, anything is amazing, Oh, man. it's so good. Why does that have to be sea salt? I don't know. It's I just don't, really I don't good. Know. Sea salt is amazing. Salt I don't know. Yeah. It's... It's just really good. I I do that same thing at parties because I don't drink. So I go and I order like a Diet Roy Rogers, which is just Diet Coke with grenadine and a cherry. That's really good, though. Mm -hmm. In a red Solo cup? uh, No, usually usually in a white plastic cup, but it looks like I'm holding a rum and Coke, you know? Yeah. And then I don't have to deal with all the awkward questions. Drunk people coming up to you going, (gasps) Why don't you drink? Why don't you drink? It's like, I don't know you, bro. Do I really... You really... Want to have this conversation with you? Is it against your religion? (laughs) (laughs) Like, if you think through all the reasons why people don't drink, none of them are things that I would want to talk to strangers about. (laughs) You know what I mean? I did that for a while. And that happens all the time. People just be like, why not, bro? And then you became 21. Then I discovered Magic Mountain, which is like a drink, I guess it exists, but it's just like two shots of vodka and a can of Mountain Dew. Uh, which just looks like a Mountain Dew, and it tastes just like a Mountain Dew, but it's got two shots of vodka in it, and it's amazing. That sounds awesome. I, and then everyone makes fun of me. Like, why aren't you drinking anything tonight? I don't get like, why you like I actually vodka. Really, I don't like it anymore. <laughs> I don't. There's actually a very... There's an email about your 21st on here. We'll oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, nice. It's Bring it back. It. Just it. That's Great. awesome. Uh, okay. All right, that so was... ne- next, next article. Um, this one cracked me up because I've been thinking about concerts a lot lately because there's such a music scene in Seattle and I never used to be able to go to Dude, concerts. Dude, Taylor Swift, why didn't we I all know. go? We could have gone to Taylor Swift T- together. T-, 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 T Swift just came and then last week... Excuse me, uh, it's T Swizzle. Thank uh, you. Sure, okay. Oh, dear That's God. God. And, uh, Since when? Since always. And then last <laughs> week, a show that I'm actually sad that I missed, last Wednesday was um, uh, Pentatonix. No, they were here. No. And, and they, they opened for, uh, I think it was Kelly Clarkson. Macklemore was here recently as well. If you but guys we saw Dead go, Mouse. The three of us saw yeah. Dead Mouse. There's that a was really amazing. big music festival coming Wait, up next Dead month. Dead Mouse 5, you mean? Which, which music festival? <laughs> Dead Mouse 5. Like, yeah, I called it that oh, for a while. I don't know the <laughs> name of it. Really? I, did. I thought it was Dead Mouse 5. I'll bet there's Dead like, I'll bet, I've never heard it said. I'll bet most of the people listening to this probably called it Dead Mouse 5 the first time yes. they saw it. If they didn't hear it. Yeah. It's like Bumble uh-huh. bro- Boss or something. Oh, it's like a huge that. music festival downtown Seattle. We should go to it. So, so anyway, this is, a, this is an article about a concert. Okay, okay, so apparently, I'm not into country music, but apparently there's a country artist named Ryan Adams. Yeah. And he, wow, uh, I said that like a... <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, I was like, I'm yeah, Our <laughs> expert over here. Yeah, I know what's going on, Ryan okay, Adams. So, so <laughs> Ryan Adams was in a concert, and he hears a guy yell out from the crowd requesting... Summer of 69, which is a Brian Adams song. Yeah. And so Ryan Adams. (laughs) Did he do it? He stopped the music. He had the production bring the house lights up. And he went and he found that guy. He gets off the stage. He finds the guy. He hands him $30, which was the cost of the ticket. To refund his money. He told him to get out? And then demanded that he leave. Are you kidding me? And he refused, oh. he refused to continue to what play music. Dick. 
He wouldn't play any more music until that guy left the building. What a dick! Whoa. You knew everyone was like turning against him. Like, Get out! Honestly, a concert that's thirty dollars though is that really gonna be that good? No, no, oh my it's a thirty dollar. That's what you're gonna get when you go to a thirty dollar concert. What do you well, expect, man? I mean, man? this was in two thousand three, so I don't care. What, what a dick move! Do you know how much the ticket for T Swizzle was? That's no. when five hundred dollars for the farthest seat. That's when wow. you look at him and you just like laugh. And yeah. you're like, okay, and he should have done it. How awesome yeah. would that have been if he'd done like yeah. a country twist on it? Is he a real artist or a phony? A big fat phony. <laughs> Let's rip off as many things as we can today. And so the the irony. I swear to God, waffle, <laughs> waffle. He's, he's, would you he's still Jesus doing Christ! It. Wow. Like okay. I don't understand. I'm just going to be really, really far away today. So much. God. <laughs> so there, the there's an ironic twist to the end of the, in before all the irony uh, people tell me that's not irony. I, I never get that right. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, Ryan Adams ended up becoming friends with Brian Adams, and the two of them uh, went back to that venue and played Summer of '69 together at a concert later on. <laughs> oh my God! I that, is that, that is that ironic. Is, that, that is ironic. the definition of irony. <laughs> that's yes, very that ironic. Is ironic. Yes. I never, I never get that right. Yeah. Wow, I mean, that's that, uh, that poor man should have been invited back. Yeah. I know, right? right? Like they should exactly. have held the guy and be like, yeah. and pay him another thirty dollars. <laughs> Uh, no, demand the thirty dollars. Oh, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> double dick move. <laughs> wow, what a dick! That's awful. It's on on his on the Ryan Adams Wikipedia page. It's listed under controversy. Yeah, I, I could imagine. I thought like he was was joking, but to actually make someone leave because they right. Confused, and that's just like that's kind of arrogance at its finest. <laughs> just jeez. Get out! You know what? I didn't do that. Get out of here! <laughs> it's like, really? It's, it's like he was just. He, I imagine him backstage before the show going, I swear to God, if anybody requests. <laughs> if somebody does it summer, again, right? Summer 69, I'm going to go off. I am going to go off. That song like, must like, give like him nightmares, the, right? the roadies had been like teasing him about, about that leading up to that. You know, last couple of days, yeah. the roadies have been like making Brian Adams jokes and, <laughs> and he's like just sick of or it. Or they're doing sound checks and they're like saying the band is playing that song just yeah, to piss him off. Right. And, and he just hit his limit. It. He just hits his limit. <laughs> oh, and we find out later that one of the roadies like tipped that guy in the crowd. Like, here, here's 30 bucks. Just do this. <laughs> 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 One hour in, you need to request somewhere to 69. Oh, it's Brill. And none of us have made a 69 joke. I'm kind of disappointed. I think with that. the thing is, everybody thought it. I don't think we needed to say right. it. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll it's shame on you for thinking about that. It's, it's yeah. very right. clear that we were all thinking about 69ing. Oh, of course. <laughs> what? Always That's how I get to the podcast, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the only way we can bear each other. 69 really. yeah. your way down to the floor. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, you it's and like, Seb just like rolling, like, like every step. Yes. <laughs> there's there's stairs right there. Like just just the amount of sixty nine to get down those stairs. Is, every step. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of sixty nine. <laughs> is there a Brian Adams song that? Okay, never mind. There probably is. <laughs> All right, so I didn't look at the clock again. How, we should probably move on. Yeah, I mean, how are this. we like? We're about halfway. Okay. All right. Cool. One. More articles. No, we should. You want to uh, get more, to the, more, you want to get to? Well, we have a read first. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. We have oh. advertising on. You know, the thing is, okay, our podcast is so fucking stellar mm -hmm. that of people <laughs> want to tell people about things on our podcast. Of course. <laughs> wow. That was oh, well crafted. Right? <laughs> Best pitch ever. <laughs> so if Jesus you would like mercy. to. <laughs> uh, seriously, in podcast and Interfusion TV. In, um, in the midst of the poop jokes and, and like 69 references, if you want your brand associated with this. I don't know. <laughs> well, Green Man sell, Gaming does. Sell, sell out at NerdFusion.tv. Yeah, a 69 is a good deal. So oh, speaking God. of a good deal. Green Man Gaming, everybody. <laughs> oh god and they gave me like this really serious thing to say <laughs> oh, that's funny so yeah if any of you didn't uh, miss uh, like the tweets and whatever uh we nerd fusion just announced that green man gaming is now our official games retailer yeah they're partnered with us it's fun it's a two-way street as well which is pretty great so and, anyway, and all like, jokes aside i'm pretty excited about it because i've always yeah. felt like it's the, the kind of like we play games 
we buy games. You guys play games and buy games. It just just makes sense to partner up with a mm-hmm. company that sells games, like with a good reputation. But there's a lot of a lot of companies in that field that have mixed reputations, mm-hmm. and so we took a good. I've been re- ranting about that like crazy yeah. for the past few weeks. And so you know, a lot of research and time, being careful, picking the oh, right. Oh, look, company. pause has our lower third. Oh, wow. yes, yeah. there we go, right there. <laughs> Uh, you know well, I'll read what they told us to say. All right, go for instead it. Instead of, you know, 69 is also two way street. Oh. 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 I, I, I was that. being mature not saying it. I but, stole that from okay. chat. <laughs> you stole it from chat? Yeah. Someone said that? Chat makes me sound oh. a lot wittier than I actually am. Yeah. I, can, yeah. Like, I say jokes on that's my stream. Real, I like to like yeah. steal jokes from chat. That's yeah. the Funny. real secret to Are you being serious? a good broadcaster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, well. Yeah, you should try reading chat, Sev. It's I amazing. read chat. I just don't steal <laughs> jokes from chat. <laughs> well, the people to watch later don't know that you stole it. Exactly. Oh, I see. So you're... Okay. Yeah. So it's all about the VOD. <laughs> Ban the guy and then tell his jokes. There you go. Uh-huh. Hey, there was somebody complaining that they got banned on your channel. Like, they just subscribed and understand. then a minute later got banned forever. <laughs> I, I do that sometimes. And so they unsubbed. Almost, almost, every, almost, almost every it's day. It's because they type I V. Have. Almost oh, every great. day no, I have people come here. into my chat saying that they got banned in Waffles. One yeah. day, I, a few yeah. days ago, okay. I banned the letter W and V and Y yeah. from anything. Why? If it was in any word, any part of the sentence, <laughs> banned. Straight up banned. Oh, there wow. you go. <laughs> why you wow, pause. Say why do you look like that? Okay. Seven seven. Like, what? <laughs> can, I, can I get through this fucking read? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Damn it. They paid for that. Well, okay. Uh, Green Man Gaming is one of the biggest retailers of PC games. We're trying to get through this with a serious. Look at the waffle's face right now. He's got like the Joker. Uh, Green Man Gaming is one of the biggest retailers of PC games with a catalog of over 5,000 titles selling across 190 countries. That's almost Are there even 190 countries? Apparently. I think so. No. Dude, today we're learning. No, dude, there's not 190 countries. There is. Can you Google this? I will Google this right now. There's no way. I thought it was like 180 something. How many countries? Are they making numbers up? How many bones are in your body? In the world. Like 200 something, right? 196 countries in the world. 196. 195. Well, this is 195. Who's the, the, who's the last one? Who are the, who's oh, Green Taiwan, Taiwan is not considered official. So country. yeah, that's my question. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. So there's six countries, including Taiwan. Well, I'm not saying it, Taiwan is included. North, North there's Korea. six countries that do not purchase Green Man. Okay, North, North Korea, China, China, North Korea, and China, uh, and probably some like islands that are countries. What about like Iran? No, they, they bet they that's do. a country. You, you think? Yeah. Green Man Gaming sells to probably yeah Great. maybe why not Great you're, I mean, you're they sell, alienating no. our entire Middle Eastern audience right now Well that's not entire <laughs> The Middle East is only Iran Oh now? really no. Wow Wow Bacon Okay Here's the thing <laughs> Okay Like it's it's up to th- I think they're probably open to any country It's just the country who's limiting their well, citizens I mean like Antarctica is not a country. Is no I don't think that counts Are there countries continent. of Antarctica it's No a It's a it's an agreed upon settlement. I didn't thing. know that. Huh. That's cool. Do you want to go to Antarctica a lot of, sometime? A lot of unclaimed land Who do you out think, there. Like, like what, what's a tiny little country that just maybe just doesn't have internet access? Dude, I am so fascinated by the micro-nations that are around. Like, people that just, like, camp out on a... Like Kazakhstan? Uh, no, like, that, like what was sea that? land. It's not an island. Like no, sea I'm land. about a small country. With like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, are who you would, familiar with sea land? Love like, Sealand. But, like it, it's this oil rig platform that's left over from like World oh, War yeah. II off the coast of And they have Great servers Britain. on it or something. And and they this family moved out there and declared themselves a nation because they were in international water. Yeah. And they like made it a crypto data haven and yeah, ran that's fiber exactly, out yeah. there. That's what and I they thought. have their own currency and they freaking defend themselves with oh. with guns if people come out there and like there was a, right. read the Wikipedia about mercy. Sealand. It's ridiculous. Yep. And there's been like political drama and like uprisings, that. all with this group of like twenty think, people. Uh, it's. Do you it's think insane. the GMZ sells games to the Vatican? Maybe. Well, do you think the Vatican allows people does to purchase the, video does games? Does the Pope does the Pope play GTA? I'll 5? bet is the he, Pope does play dude, video the, games. The, yeah. Surely yeah. the Pope has. To, I mean, isn't like the new Pope supposed to be like a hip? He's pretty cool. Like he's pretty dude. cool. Yeah. So like, I'm sure he's played Minesweeper. Solitaire, <laughs> at least, right? At least. I don't think you. I don't know if you can buy. Are you saying that Pope buys from GMG? So if you buy from GMG, you are the Pope. 
I don't think I can say that. I'm not sure that. I don't yeah, think they maybe, want us to claim that. that. Essentially, <laughs> maybe Seb should finish the actual. I mean, yeah, yeah it should. Like, I can like, write a better one than this that. This is the longest commercial ever. Yeah, it's point like is, ten minutes. Point now. is, there's six countries that they don't serve apparently. Okay. So if wow. you're in one of those six countries, get on that green man. Go Jeez. fuck yourself. No, don't do that. Um, <laughs> with, with a catalog of five thousand titles selling across 190 countries, Green Man Gaming worked directly with works directly with publishing partners to allow customers to buy games in confidence. Are you new at reading? No, I'm adding words that should be added. <laughs> like, that's like my level of reading. I no, no. Better. There was, there was, I'm trying to correct their grammar without saying I am. Okay. But okay. you just said that you were. Wow. Yeah, dude. but you brought it wow. up. Okay. Wow. Okay. With independent mm. reviews from Trustpilot, who I've never heard of. Is that a... Just trust it. I trust it. Yeah. With independent yeah. reviews from Trustpilot, Green Man Gaming has been an excellent... Oh, they got an excellent rating with excellent. over 8,000 reviews. That's more reviews than our podcast That's has. a lot of reviews. Wow. That is. Oh, Why wow. aren't all of you re reviewing the podcast? Then? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, what the heck, uh, guys? With regular deals, VIP promotions, and the ability to earn credit to spend towards games... Green Man Gaming is the very best place to buy your games, you which do. I think we can agree on. And what URL would they go to if they wanted to buy a game? Wow, it's like the next sentence. <laughs> Visit n3f.tv slash gmg today. That's n3f.tv slash gmg. Said One more time! n3f.tv slash gmg. And they can use our code, which is nerd20, the nerd spelled with a three, nerd20 dash nerd20 dash nerd20. That's three nerd20s at the end for 20% off. And I, I tried the it. the URL again. N3F.tv slash GMG. Okay. <laughs> uh, I tried it last night for the first time, and it was, I just legit got 20% off, and my key it, was just like literally there. just right. And the key like, was just there. Yeah. The uh, Fallout 4 pre 48, yeah. 48 bucks. Done. Mm -hmm. yeah. 48 bucks are like a brand new game. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. And um, it works pretty well. and a lot of these titles are like you're buying like a Steam code, right? So mm -hmm. that's a, yeah. an immediate concern. No, all of them are that way, aren't they? That's that's an immediate concern that people have Not sometimes. To be like, well, but I always play on Steam, and well, you're buying a Steam key. You just get it cheaper than Steam sells it. Exactly. Yeah, twenty percent if you use our code, and they have deals all the time. Like right anyway, now, are we doing full sellout on this right now? Like, what the heck is going on? This FAP session. Well, well that's kind it's of the, the point. First, it's the first Jeez. time we've brought it up. So yeah. It is the first time. We have to explain how it works. Yeah. So now everybody that <laughs> wants to have a read on the podcast is going to expect their first time to be this magnificent yeah. FAP session. Well, I mean. You know, the first time I did the, the read on my my, my I chat, can't I, see I, you I got... Call. I got called out <laughs> a huge sellout. I didn't like it. Everyone was like, yeah. just the, the spam of sellout. You kind of well, embrace the sellout. I mean, yeah, I, I do. I laughed. It yeah, awesome. it's all yeah. about the sellout. Yeah, but you're a huge sellout, though, Puss. Right? You That's fine. Sellout. I'm okay with that, though. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we've got some questions here from the uh, from the viewers. You can oh, I'm already email so us. excited about these. Oh, my podcast, gosh. Podcast at nerdfusion.tv is how you can send us your questions, your comments, and really anything, it's starting to fill up with a lot of just random except, everything. Except for sponsorship offers, that goes to sell out at nerdfusion.tv. Mm -hmm. I really think that ought to be a thing. I, it should. I kind of like that. You okay, yeah. now give that to companies when they ask about it. <laughs> On the business cards, just sell out at nerdfusion. <laughs> right. yeah. The thing is, now I kind of have to make it. And then we, you know we have to pay for every freaking email address we make. Yeah. Oh, wow. No. Yeah. So this is a bad idea. <sighs> God. Okay. Uh, here we go. Pay, paying to be a sellout seems a little backwards. It does. Yeah. So podcast at nerdfusion.tv for everything. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> uh, even if it's... Hello? Oh, Hi. Oh, what? Did you just... Did you just... What? Are... I can't hear anything. Oh, no, I can. What? Hello? Oh, okay. Sorry. Hey, okay. Like, I just stopped hearing things. The audio <laughs> in my headset just went out. Production value, okay. you everyone. Saw it, saw it saw I kicked it. I kicked it, and uh, I thought, I, like, I ruined pulled, everything. You pulled the waffle is what happened. Okay, so this is a question. Um, Not my fault. This is a question. We'll start with the waffle question. We're talking about waffle. Right. Yeah. All this right. is actually, yeah. I've decided to include a question directed only at waffle that probably... None of us will have any answer to but waffle. Anime. Okay. Well, it's I'm, anime I'm related. Anime. Oh, oh, no. oh, do we have to? Okay. Um, we'll Let's make this quick. Question. Hey, guys. I love you and I love the podcast. See, that's step one to get okay. on, the, on the email yeah. list. You just say you love me. It's in. I love uh, Today I have a question for Waffle by Anime. What are your thoughts on Excel World? And do you recommend Kill La Kill? 
Have you ever heard of either of these? I've heard of Kill a Kill. It's a very popular one, but I've never heard of Excel World. I actually haven't watched anime since I moved here. Well, sorry, Mitchell. But um, uh, <laughs> so I don't have thoughts on that. But Kill a Kill is a really, really good anime. It's uh, made by the same company as uh, Gurren Lagann, which I'm probably saying wrong. Everyone's gonna go crazy. Yeah. Everyone, Everyone has different names for it or whatever. I just call it Gurren Lagann, which is like, everyone has like it a top, German. It's like a top list of anime that's like Kaba Bebop and all that kind of stuff, right? Gurren Lagann was always in that top list. So it's made by the same company. It's crazy. Well, then what was the last anime you watched? Just give them something. Um, Food Wars. Yeah. That sounds like a Food Network show. Food Wars that's, was a, That's the anime. only anime I, I that I that. really want to watch because yeah. it sounds so Is it ridiculous. actually about? It's, 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 it's a pretty, cooking it's pretty anime oh, where okay, okay. They, this guy can make food or when food is really, really tasty, they have like these clips of like, okay. It's so, so it's a battle. It's so tasty. They're, the food is so good they, that the they clothes. orgasm and the clothes like explode off their body because it's so <laughs> but delicious. But it's in like a competitive scene. <laughs> Typically it's in like a shokugeki and stuff. I wish this was live. Yeah. Like Dude. live action. Yeah. yeah. You have to watch it, Sav. Seriously. It's really good. I've no never way. seen it yet, but I, it's no weird. Way. Like I'm, I have no real interest in anime, but that I would actually That's watch. That's funny. It's, All right. Um, so we have a story here. Which Ooh. is oh, wow. story time. Oh, story time. time. <clears throat> it's for anonymous though. <laughs> chat is all resident they, sleeper I mean, about the anime. Of talk. course. <laughs> yeah, I am. I agree with chat. Uh, I agree. <laughs> good evening, Nerd Fusion. Uh, good evening, anonymous. Hi. It's after- the subject Hi. is called. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Hi. The subject is called pest control. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, Are you talking about Dan now? Jesus. Great. Ow. Sev's fun with fumes while putting up the acoustic foam. Let me just say that was pretty fun. Painting that office or, uh, studio. I got, I got, I got a studio. pretty considerable contact time from that. <laughs> Painting that studio for three hours oh, in a geez. closed room was fun. Yeah. Uh, Seth's fun fumes while putting up the acoustic foam reminded me of an paint, interest. Paint fume is like the w- worst um, high ever. Remind me of an like interest. A headache. It, yeah. Oh, here it is. Remind me of an interesting method of pest control that my former employer used one day. I live in Spokane. Oh, hey, that's not that far. It's kind of far. And we have these tiny itty bitty red bugs that come out in spring every year. God, oh yeah, I, hope we don't I hate fins. those little things. Chicks. Yeah. Aphids? yeah, I don't know. Aphids? They are always there. Are always a few on the windowsills. Someone decided they would try to get rid of these by pouring gasoline on the windowsill outside. What? No joke. What? I was literally high all day long. <laughs> I had never been high before, and once I realized why I was feeling so weird, it was too late. (laughs) The gasoline had actually gone down into the wall. What makes this even more fun, oh, it's fun, was the fact that the smoker's area is right outside that window. I had to go around and ask all the smokers to be careful and stay away from the side (laughs) of the building. They tried doing everything so they could get the fumes gone. The guy that originally poured the gas actually suggested lighting a flame to burn some of it off. Jesus. What? That's what you get from a guy who pours gas. We finally figured out that the little wood piece we put in the window to prevent it from being open had soaked up most of the gas. So once it was removed, it helped. It took a full week to go away enough Uh. for me to go back into my office. There's bugs here. Let's just pour gas everywhere. Why? Yeah. What? How is that your first thought? There were ants invading my car once, and I sprayed, like, um, my sister had perfume in the car as well, so I sprayed it on it. It yeah. sounds weird, because now it sounds like my perfume. It wasn't. Yeah. It was like a family uh, car. Right. Yeah. Not it, sure. it killed my like instantly. My sister's perfume. So we yeah, sprayed, you, like, you can all just the call entire... Cologne. Yeah. The whole car with her <laughs> perfume, and it, like, killed them instantly. So I could see kind of where they're going. Really? Yeah. I have an idea. I'm really How about effective. I've bug done stuff spray. like that. We have like, it. It's the alcohol. Like in uh, it. Um, grow, yeah. growing up, I used to use my sister's hairspray yeah. for for bugs. See, I'm not yeah. that weird. Here's the thing about gasoline. Surely, it is harder to spray gasoline than raid. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah but that that's what if you put it like one of the bottles and like use like the mist spray? Don't have raid though. How do you get the gasoline? Well, maybe he had a five gallon jug you in the back of his car. Station. He just went outside with a tube, started sucking the gas out, and then poured it in the thing, and then poured it all over the window. It's perfect. You're siphoning gas with the cost yeah, of gas. Siphon it. Raid is probably cheaper. That's not true. That's but not it true. Could be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> gas is not that expensive. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, is it milk more yeah. expensive than gas? What I the reason I bring this up is mm-hmm. this is not yes. an acceptable solution. Well, okay. in our right studio now they're close to the when scene. there's bugs. 
Uh, we oh, have. No, no. What's the question for this? Or are they just telling us no a story? There's no question. That was the story. Oh, I like story time. Oh, okay. It was yeah. It was just yeah, a, it was a story. Cool. It's like I mean, an article yeah, we're reading, but like I what? just story. I do not understand people that actually seek out a fume based high, like. You know, gas, I don't get it. Gasoline and oh, like marker? paint yeah. and markers. I mean, yeah. yeah, that's like okay. Imagine. It just gives me a headache. Imagine if that's if, really if is, drinking though. alcohol, if you got the hangover while drinking it. Like you, you start drinking and you start feeling drunk. That's when the hangover hits. Like that's what paint fumes are like. Like you get that headache and that that awful. Like why do people want? You got to be hey. desperate, is what I'm <laughs> thinking. <laughs> and they usually are. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, here we go. Don't huff paint, kids. It's awful. It's from Beck. Don't. A question Don't. not about poop. Thank you. Like, seriously. Hallelujah. Yeah, probably about it. Thank God. Birthday. Random question. You know what? I might have not included that one because I was being nice. Thank God. Wow. But so now that we brought it up. Random question uh, of the podcast for you. Do you feel like you are an adult or do you just pretend like you're one when you need to be? <laughs> Yes, that's the <laughs> that is one. the second. The latter, the latter. I work full time ladder. and really struggle to be an adult and be professional. Sev, I'm stealing the idea for birthday week from you. I hope you don't mind. Oh yeah, hey, make that money. So, um, <laughs> how has the studio improved your guys' perspective on that? Because I feel like I'm the only one that hasn't moved there yet. Besides uh, pause. I was gonna say you're right next to pause. <laughs> Who's yeah. in another freaking right here, country? You asshole. <laughs> but like, has it made it feel more like a real job? Like driving the work. I stuff. much Dude. prefer it. I honestly Dan, much prefer Dan it. Dan has totally been like, he's been like waking up at like eight in the morning and yeah. going yeah, in like it's a there. day job. I feel like I feel <laughs> like it's I feel like it's good because I'm not acting as much like a kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm still a kid. It yeah. Makes you want to be more at heart, professional. At heart, like, too. I don't know. It's like I really like it. Like I, I, I See, really enjoy okay, it. I've been a streamer for two years now and all of that has been at home and I have wanted a studio space away from home for at least a year. And, and I, cause for me, uh, the initial appeal from working at home had mostly to do with how much I hated working for other people. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and I'm finding that, uh, you know, now that I've kind of like detoxed from that, uh, to me, going leaving home to go to a studio, but being you know my own business and being you know even technically working for Sevenus, but whatever, it's not really yeah. the same. <laughs> it's not really the same. You get, you, you, you know what I mean? Really uh, to me, same. it com combines the because there's pros and cons to both. To me, it, it uh, it's applying the advantages of both. Right? We get the mm -hmm. advantage of being self-employed and the advantage of having a workspace away from your living space. Yeah. And I I'm yeah, I really like love it. it so far. Like for me, it really helps with my depression because if I stream from home, I usually never leave the house for weeks on end. And yeah. so this makes me get out of the house. That's me now. That really get helps. out the house. Yeah, you haven't left the house in like, what, a week? A week, yeah. <laughs> Are you yeah. serious? Mm -hmm. no, I don't need to. Oh, my God. He almost left the house for dinner. He called me and said, hey, let's go to dinner. And, and then like, I called yeah. Dan, and I, I called and Dan like, as well. I'm like, bro, yeah, I'm I've not already not. left for work. Yeah, I'm, I'm still <laughs> at the office. Sorry. <laughs> Sunday's my day to go out of the house. To go get dinner. Well, now it'll be every day. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. When are you moving in? Wednesday. All my stuff comes in Monday, Tuesday, so I move in Wednesday. And all right. Yes. All at the studio except for somebody. He'll, mm. he'll be there. His name's on the door. Oh, is it? Is it? Your name is on your door. Yep. yep. Just did you like you scratch it in or did you get like one of those plaques? I got you a plaque. Oh, buddy. We got a crown. Oh, it, looks, I'm so it looks legit and you've got a really nice green screen wall. Yeah. It looks oh my gosh. I'm actually quite I'm jealous sexy. of his green screen wall. Your, your walls are being painted black next week and everything. It's, mm -hmm. it's exciting. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, okay. Can we? Okay. Podcast. That's what we're doing. <laughs> like, you're so easy to get off track. Like, <laughs> Okay. That's, um, this podcast in general. Yeah. Were we ever on track? I don't. Yeah. I don't. There, there was know. a track. Wait. I don't know. <laughs> I missed a memo. We're so this is something list. we kind of deal with from time to time. All of us, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, from anonymous subject advice. Just like to say you guys are great, and I enjoy watching you guys when I can. Thanks, anonymous. Aww. Thank you. We really Aww. appreciate that. Anonymous is the best. Uh, as for my question, I've been playing games since I was eight. I've been noticing nope. that more and more I've been losing interest in playing them. Would you have advice? So you're losing interest, but you want to. Okay. Well, first of all, like, 
if games aren't your thing, I don't know that that's something to be guilty about. Mm-hmm. Like, it's okay. I think he's yeah. just sick of it for a while. I don't play games. But, it's, but it sounds to me like it's maybe he's playing the wrong games. Mm, I wouldn't say so. I just um, say take a break for a bit. Like, yeah. when I grew up I'm gaming, back. I guess, like, when I was in, like, high school, so I guess I started way after him, but uh, I always played a game for like two weeks and stopped and then found a new game for two weeks and stopped. I made all my friends super mad because I'd get them into a game and they'd get like into it, right? And they just stopped for two weeks. And, yeah. You know. I mean, that's kind of how you are now though. Yeah, that's I love it though. <laughs> so. I, I, I embraced what I am and I think people enjoy that because I'm happy I'm doing variety now because variety is really enjoyable as a gamer because you get to experience all these different genres and types of games except horror. Horror can go fuck itself. Um, <laughs> oh, whoa. I just, no, I agree. How would you ever say no, that? I agree. What do you have against like, horror? 100%. Right, Dan? I just, yeah, horror is awesome. No, yes. Let's beat these kids up. There's so much. There's all these flavors of games out there and you don't know what you like and you just got to try it all. And, well, his thing is he just doesn't have interest in playing games, but he wants to play games, I guess. The thing I is, mean, I found... If, I just say take a if, break. If yeah. they... If, if Anonymous has a group of real-life friends... I would suggest trying a shift to tabletop instead of video. That, I did that as well. I went you know, into a D&D phase for a year. Do, do RPGs. God, what a nerd. It was D&D so much fun. Stuff, do, do board games. <laughs> Card games. Magic Card the Gathering games. was a fantastic thing. It will eat your money, but Magic the Gathering is a really good one if you like maybe a different style of game. Or, I mean, or, even go or if you want to like, pretend like you're 8 again, Pokemon trading card game. That's popular. No. There's an adult. There's <clears throat> what? A, I still love that game. There's an adult Pokemon League in Seattle. Adult is really? Pokemon is, League. So, like, clothing optional? Yeah. Is that what that means? Um, it's de- it depends. <laughs> I think Adult Pokemon League probably exists because of the interests of adults and Beat you can kids. imagine the problems that... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh okay. we love Pokemon. Let's go hang okay. out with these you just, like, kick, these kick, kick six-year-old's ass. <laughs> Get wrecked, I Jimmy. Promise it's not about the go kids. Go cry to your mom. I just love this game, okay? <laughs> Speaking of clothing optional... Some Seattle is really nudist friendly. Yeah, they I'm are. finding almost as friendly as New York, right? I have stumbled across the nudist beach, and nice. one day my GPS took me on a wrong turn. Like, like it had to reroute because I, I took a wrong turn and it rerouted me. And where it rerouted me, yeah, you're wanted, about to blame the it, GPS. It, it wanted to it wanted to drive me right smack dab through the middle of the nudist colony. Oh wow! Well, when you misspell a location as boobies, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, like bacon. it was the GPS was treating it like it was just a public street, but I had to stop because there's a gate. <laughs> was, there was a gate? Yeah, like a sign, like That's you weird. know, warning. <laughs> you Yo, know? Can you please take me to this place and we'll we'll address in the car and just drive through there so we can say we were like a nudist for like an hour or it's so. It's like two miles from my house. It's like Let's go. Is it Let's really? Go yes. Wow. It's really close to here. Dude, and I'm talking about complete, that. And I Vlog! found out, and, I can't and even. like, Vlog. so I looked into it, and <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently in Seattle, uh, nudity oh nudity is not illegal, but uh, oh. but um, pu- oh public indecency is. Yeah. Which so is they, pretty they wide draw spread like, yeah, it's, it's kind of but like let's if, Instagram this shit. But there's <laughs> been there's been at least two nude parades since we've moved here. Oh, uh, that's good. Yeah, I think wow. like having like a selfie stick for that type of occasion would be kind of like necessary. <laughs> Do you even right? need to carry one? You've got one built. <laughs> that's right? true. Oh, oh my. he had to go there. Yeah, oh, mm. the best selfie stick. Ooh. I'm just picturing I'm, Seven as like leaning back. I'm just picturing <laughs> a custom GoPro strap oh for his dog. Dude, vlogger fans. Dude, let's 3D go. print one. Dude, we can custom, 3D print one. A custom GoPro cock ring just ready to go. Yes. Oh. Yes. 3D printed. <laughs> we can sell that to the industry as well. I'm sure they Dude, love let's it. Go. Oh let's go. Let's go. POV? Wait. COV. C- cock, cock of you. Cock of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Just CV. Yeah. Okay, this, this might not CPOB. be the topic to associate with, but but Paz mentioned vlogger fair. We should probably mention that. Oh, we'll get there. What the end of the? Okay, that's all, right, end. all right. Yeah. No, we were talking about vlog. I think we should vlog the experience. Obviously, of the new. Parade. I mean, yeah, we could just black out all the boobs and okay. everything. That's so, a lot of. So that's a lot of work. Yeah, it, I it's have to do mostly that. black. I think we need like nude nerd fusion uh, floats in the parade. Can we have a nude, nude calendar? Fusion. <laughs> Nude fusion. Nude fusion. Nude fusion. Yes. Fusion. Can we nude do a, uh, a, 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 a nude fusion Christmas calendar? <laughs> <laughs> and we'll just have like Christmas hats on our dongers and stuff. Well, that's semi nude fusion. Well, I mean, yeah, we have to. Nude. We can make a censored and an uncensored, but the uncensored is mm-hmm. like eight times the price. The uncensored is eight times the price. Yeah, because yeah, mm-hmm. there's all that editing. Yeah. All those black boxes. It's a lot of work I have to do. I mean, they're yeah. so big, those boxes. It's true. It's like mm-hmm. the whole screen. Mm-hmm. Um. Are we still talking about nudity and boxes? I don't, like, is, I don't know. Is, is this, you know what? Pause. It's so derailed right now. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so we have a uh, okay. Oh, here we go with the advice. Okay. Oh, uh, of course. Oh boy, we need that from Denton. Denton, I don't know if you wanted me to say your name on this one, but I felt like I should. <laughs> it's, a nice, it's a nice name. One of these weeks, we're gonna have to have them um, giving us advice. I don't know about that. Yeah. So this yeah, is awkward encounters of the third kind. Okay. Mm. With the less. You're gonna need water for this one. Dear Nerd Fusion, yo, yo. yo. Hey. Yo, Yo, Denton. Whoa. Yo, Nerd Fusion gang. My name is Denton, and I'm a huge fan. Oh, he did want me to say his name. Is this how Denton talks? Like, I'm, are yes, you... I'm, I'm Denton right now. Right, you guys cool. actually got me into watching more Twitch, so thanks. You're welcome. Yo, welcome, bro. You're welcome. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Word no. up. All right. I'm going to stop complimenting you guys before Seb's head grows too big for the <laughs> office. And he puts <laughs> office in all caps. Mm. Oh, what a jerk. All right. <laughs> oh, dot, dot, P. Um, anyway, uh, dot P. You mean colon P? Yeah. Well, I don't want to say uh, colon P. Colon P. <laughs> it's, disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting in every way possible. Ew. All right. I just, I, that reminds me, I just played a game of Quiplash with some casters yesterday. Oh, God, and, how in, and, and inappropriate one of the, was that? One of the answers like, of, uh, like, what was the worst? The question was, what's the worst rapper name ever? And the one that won was P. Drizzle. P. Drizzle. That's <laughs> pretty good. Mine was Nip Juice. <laughs> Nip juice. Nip she juice. only want me for my nip juice. Um, <laughs> nobody's going to get that reference. <laughs> we don't no, nobody knows you who don't, You don't need to. Nobody knows who Nelly just, is It anymore. just sounds funny. I don't know why. It's, uh, <laughs> Pimp juice. Nelly. All right. Uh, um, anyway, I need some advice, and I figure asking five males is better than wallowing in confusion. Okay. I don't know. If I, <laughs> I don't know that's the right answer well, to that question. We'll but try. We'll, we'll find out hearts. momentarily. We'll try. Uh, the problem I am having is that in chemistry class, I sit at a table with three girls. Ooh, already in. going well. You're in. Mm -hmm. um, with all three. I know them all from last year, which was my freshman year. I am kind of friends with all of them, and they are absolutely best friends. Mm. They talk quite a bit, and I hang out at the table because I'm supposed to sit there. And I don't leave when I'm allowed to because I don't really know anyone else in class. Wait, who's making the rules here? I assume the teacher. Like yeah. you sit in your okay. fucking seat. I, okay. no, it's high seats? school. No, I, yeah. it yeah. sounded like the girls were making seating. these rules. Oh, like no, <laughs> no. You sit in your damn seat. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, they. Oh, oh, God. They talk about some kind of personal stuff. Ooh, getting spicy. And I am not sure if I should be hearing mm. some of the conversations they bring me into, but others, I just do my best to pretend like I'm not hearing. Oh, they God. know you can hear. Yeah, they, yeah, do. they know. They yeah. know. For example, they talk about their boyfriends and some naughty thing their friends got caught doing. Ooh, they know. Girl. They never talked to me about the first part, but I was brought into the conversation about the latter. I'm not sure what to think about this. Should I distance myself from these conversations? I just feel so awkward about the whole thing and I don't know what to do. I feel like I should leave and let them talk about their lives or whatever, but I'm not sure. The girls are all pretty cool. But I don't want to be that weird guy who hangs around. Yeah, you don't <laughs> want to be that guy. Anyway, thanks for reading my email and keep the great casting. Okay, if if you're required by the rules to sit there, then I don't see that he's doing anything wrong. Well, what he's like, saying is even when he's allowed to get up and leave, like when they have free time or whatever, he still sits there. Is he like okay and talks so he's, to he's them? He's not like attracted to them. I mean, he said they look good, but he doesn't. Does he want to date? I don't them? think he. he this is not a so, dating no. advice thing. No. It's just yeah. what is. There's three girls talking about things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has an assigned seat there, and he's not getting up when he can get up to go away. He'd rather just listen. What does he do? Well, well if they didn't want okay. him to hear, they wouldn't be talking about it. Yeah, exactly. Right there, so. I am 100% convinced that those girls, when he does walk away, are saying to themselves things like, did you see him blush when we were just talking about that? Did you see the look <laughs> on his face? Oh my God. I don't, I've never been a high school girl before, Here's so I'm thing. not entirely sure what they're saying. I clearly you may has. not like them, <laughs> but you, he may not like them, but you may like one of their friends, and that's the best ticket in. So maybe it's, Ooh, maybe it's a good idea to, stick like, around. you know, future things that just be friends with them. So you think mm -hmm. he should stick around even when they he doesn't have to? I mean, if it's really awkward, no. I, I mean, if you're really... Weird about it, but I mean, if they're saying it, they're saying it. They it, they don't really like. I I'm, like I'm not, not seeing anything wrong with the like. Scenario I just imagine like them all. talking like, about you know girl Yugi's things. Like, 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 they, like, they, they, they would never. That. They would He's never like, talk about that stuff in front of him if they care. You think they're that aware? Yeah. 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 
Yeah. yeah. There's a dude th- sitting across there, the yeah. table yeah, from you right while there. you're talking about it. Like, they know he's there. They wouldn't wait, wait. talk about it if Guys. they... Or they would, like, tell him to leave or, or something. Or, what if Denton is a ghost? <gasps> oh. Plot twist. Actually, it's like, oh, he's right oh, there. Man. Oh, man. Like oh, you just spoiled that right? three... Oh, I just got shivers. Ugh. Awkward. Oh, what if he's... Yeah, he's yeah been, dude. I don't know. I just say... He said they're haunting high school. He's friends with them, right? Yeah, he said he's friends with them. He knew them all from last year. I mean, basically, I feel like they're just comfortable enough saying yeah, it all yeah. around you. He's, you should feel comfortable enough to jump in. Whatever. He's uber friend zoned. So yeah, you're not getting any of he's them. He's one of the girls. <laughs> he does That's for sure. Them. I don't think he. Ma- I don't think he cares though. <laughs> yeah. Like, so he's just you, one I, of the girls. it sounds to me like he's feeling all the awkward and they don't care yeah, at all. I don't yeah. think they care. Uh, and so you're totally just I don't a friend. See, I don't see the problem. As long as you're not like going for one of them, you're good. Mm. Like, it's if it's good. like really yeah. awkward, are you allowed to listen to music in class? Because I know, like, when I was in I in high school, I was allowed to listen to music during our own free work. Really? And if yeah. that's an option, God, you I can do that. that. Yeah, like earbuds. I'm an old man. That wasn't an option. Uh, yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have. That's those a good iPods. idea, though. Check out their friends. Yeah. You know, it's an easy way in. Mm-hmm. Uh, into what? Oh, uh, this is from James. This is the last question we've got today. James relationship breakup advice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, good. nerd fusion. Hey. I mean, I don't want to be known as that guy, but nerd fusion does have a three in it. Uh, wow, dude. Asshole. This, guy, <laughs> this guy is in pain. He's coming to us for advice. And on I know. His life, wow. and that's what you give I him. Know. And I gave him hell, and like so many other people, misspell it too. God, how do we make that like part of the vernacular? So that when people the say the word, when they vernacular. just see the word nerd, it should be with a three. Mm-hmm. We got to do that. All right, guys, that's the mission long, on the internet. Long, every time, goals. every time yeah. you just say the word nerd on the internet, use a three. Doesn't even have to reference us. I'm gonna like put three on a sign and just hold it up every time I say nerd. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, nerd fusion. I love all of you, and I thought I should ask you guys about some breakup advice because you are the relationship experts. Mm, you know doubt. what? I can't <laughs> confirm this. Uh, Trust Pilot gave us uh, zero <laughs> excellent reviews. So, uh, although on the iTunes store we have a few good reviews, I star. think. We have okay. We have gotten two people that watch our podcast together, so we have at least one success. That is true. We do. Yeah, that is true. true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. So we are semi-successful. All right. My girlfriend of about a year recently broke up with me. Ooh. So you're in that moment yeah. where you're trying to get her back. Probably sad times. Uh, she told me over text. Oh, that, oh, oh who no. does that? What the oh fuck? God. What a bitch. After you do not want to be with her. You don't want her. Yeah. No, you don't want her. After a year. Oh, that, wait, wait. That's not the end of the sentence. Oh. She told me over text that she needs to focus about herself and that our relationship wouldn't work. So Boo. she did all the hard work over text. Boo. Yeah. All right, dude. Pop out. Cop this out. Is, this is, this is no. a pretty easy one, I think, for us. Mm-hmm. Just a week before this... We got into our first fight. Well, that's normal. Wait, you get into one fight and then she's like, I need Wait. to focus on me. And she got really upset about it. Oh, so I suspect dude. that's the reason she broke up with you me. You know what happened? Dude. That was 11 months without an argument, which means every yeah. little oh thing God. Could you built up. And she just exploded. 11 months. And you probably Holy said crap. something that just triggered her. And she just. Yep. Boom. Done. Like how talk about hair triggers death. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like every couple needs to have like little arguments or something just because yeah. there's such small mundane things that build yeah. up. And they're fun. Am yeah. I the only yeah. person oh, that no, thinks I arguing is fun? Oh, no, I love arguing. I fucking love I arguing. arguing. <laughs> uh, fighting leads to makeup sex, hey, fuck so you, pause. I'm all for that. Yeah. Gotta have a little I'm sass in the relationship, man. I've, I've never argued that it had sex. Can I argue <laughs> with you, Dad, please? You're, you're doing it uh, wrong. Yeah, we can argue. Pause. Yes. When you're here. We'll fight every day. Um, so yeah, I, I think arguments are healthy, as long as it's like not, not no. like you're taking an argument and shoving an iron on your communication yeah. is healthy. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I would, I would call like an arguments, argument more of communicating. Arguments can be a catalyst for communication. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's okay. Be, beside the topic, um, I've been really upset and mad that she broke up with me. Wh- did you not read this? Uh, okay. Here we I've go. been uh, really upset uh-oh. and mad that she broke up with my like that. Me like that. With me like oh, that. Oh, with yeah. me like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, with me like that because I loved her. Aw. Aw. How do I get over this breakup? She also told me that she, we should just be friends. No, dude, don't do that. Don't. No. 
No. Uh, should I stay that. friends with her, or no. would that make it worse? No, it's you. either it's it's clean break, done. Never talk to her again. Just rip of. the bandit off, man. You need to just yeah. not communicate. Um, yeah. Yeah. I seriously, I think it's it's done. It's over. <coughs> yeah. That um, my advice. It really depends on what the God, argument was about. Wow, but a year, and you haven't fought in a year. Yeah. God. That doesn't. That doesn't. Even though it looks healthy, it doesn't sound healthy. No. I, no. Okay. So the thing is, is if if that is the extreme response that she's going to give from your very first conflict, that's, that should be a ginormous red flag. Right? Yeah, because like there's always going to be arguments. That yeah. tells you what's going to happen yeah. next time. What happens if you think, think that through? You, know, you get back together, you have maybe a couple months of good times, and then you have another argument. What happens then? Yep. Right? Yeah. Is she suddenly going to be different next time? No. Break up over text she's again. She's going to just go... Oh, extreme and yep. be dramatic. Yeah, I mean, about it, it seems as though he time. he is approaching like he approached the whole argument thing in a mature way. Like he was yeah. over it. It happened. He realized it, and it's over. And she's just like not. I think she's just not mature enough for him. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you just can't do that. A lot of people when they argue, they like they try to do really stupid things. Like they just don't talk to the person, and you're mad at them. So why would you not talk to them to try to work yeah, things out? Why would you yeah. not do that? Like it makes no sense. And when I see that, it just like drives me crazy because like the only way to fix a problem, which it may not even be fixable, but you still don't know that unless you actually talk to them. So if she's not willing to do that, then you shouldn't. Maybe yeah, it's just mm -hmm. it's yeah, not no. worth your time. Clean break. Yeah, take some time. You've been with her for a year. Yeah, be single for a while. Have don't fun. rush into things. Yeah, just yeah. be single for a while and enjoy it. Well, actually, I can't say you, that. Before you jump into anything, it's a good it's a good lesson to learn. Yeah, like it sucks you have to learn it, but it's I think everyone learns it. Especially after yeah. a long after a long term relationship, you just yeah. gotta not be in a relationship for that's a not while. true that's not true you can't say that what? i think that's totally true here's the thing here's Depends. the thing well for most people okay so i'm i'm not gonna name names except for andrea but uh her <laughs> ex-boyfriend used to think that she was cheating on him with me which was not even remotely true and shortly after they broke up we started dating and were married and it's always been eight years I'm so a, i'm in a very so it, it all it all really depends but like for the the like you know, like, what I, I don't what, think what he I has anybody else in mind. No, though. I know, I know, but I'm just saying that that's not always the true case. So you can find someone the next day. Surely like, she had you in mind. Like, maybe, obviously. Hell yeah, I would. Oh, let's go, guys. <laughs> well, sorry, we all have you in mind, Pa. That's true. Oh, wow. Well, but yeah, I like mean, for the for the getting over part, like he's. He wants he's to, still like, in know, love what, with what her. What he could do, right? Yeah, that's the, the thing. thing is, he's like, still in love with her. Mm -hmm. okay. The thing is, there's no on-off switch for your emotions. Like the only yeah. thing that's gonna like work is time. Like time heals everything, yeah. right? Well, not everything, because there are things you know we die over arthritis. Time, but... You can't heal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, another point too is that I really feel like successful relationships are a give and take, right? Like it can't all be on one person. Mm -hmm. And and if if she is doing all the instigation of we're done, we're over. And then you're coming back to her saying, I'll do whatever you want. Here, have all the power and all the control, and yeah. I'll just be your servant. You know, you're you're putting all that's lopsided. You're putting all the, the decisions and all the control on one person that's not yeah. balanced and that never works out. No. Right? Like that Agreed. like that can lead to several places and they're all bad. Like it, it's gotta be equal. You have to be equals and partners, and that's a, that's the perfect way to establish a scenario where you're not equal. And yeah. you, you just give her all the power, and that's not going to lead up. That's why I say arguments are important. Yeah. Okay. Communicating is important. And like Bacon said, take these as like early warning signs. <laughs> if this already happened, it's going to happen yeah, again. If you so. haven't, yep. if you haven't yeah. had like a small disagreement or something oh in the first God. few months. How boring. That's weird. Is that boring? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's really boring to me. Like... I get yelled at for not drinking my cereal with, or not eating my cereal with milk. Yeah. But like you, a lot. Well, by Dan. I just yeah. eat it, nothing. We fight all the time. You yeah. eat it dry? I didn't put, what? I didn't put a pop filter on today. I didn't put the uh, the Red Bull in the fridge, and Dan got pissed at me today. I mean, that's mm -hmm. an obvious. If yeah. there, if you take the last can. I didn't, Dan in. took the last can. If, if he takes all of my Red Bull without asking me, and then not replacing <laughs> them with, with, you know, putting warm ones back in the fridge. That's an issue. Fire. All right, it's so here's an argument going fire. on right now. Yeah. Guys, we are possibly going to be at Vlogger Fair this weekend. If you watch our social, at NerdFusion on Twitter, uh, we will have more details there. We're going. I don't know exactly when we are doing. We're going to have a panel we, of some description, we and we're going to do a meet and greet of some description cool. at 
Vlogger yeah. Fair. Vlogger Fair is in Seattle uh, this coming weekend. Yeah, I want to I want to apologize to any of my something. viewers who because people came in and started were asking me if I was going to Vlogger Fair and I'm like, no, I can't do any more appearances this year. Like, well, I, I didn't realize it was in Seattle. No, I'm telling you, like, it's right here. So, it, like, if <laughs> yeah. I had known it was here, I would like, of course, I'm going to go. If there's an event right here, heck yeah, sign me up. Uh, August 22nd and 23rd, dude. Here I can bring Seattle. my camera and we can shoot a music video. Oh god, uh, it'd be, be great. Awesome. What? I don't know uh, about that. Music a, a video? nude music video. Okay. A music nude oh, music nude video. <laughs> nude music video. Nerd I'm down. Let's do go. it. <laughs> anyway, watch our social to see what we're going to be doing at uh, Vlogger Fair this weekend. Next week, of course, we're at PAX. We'll have the selfie. God, on the, we have so the, much to do. The dick selfies. Yeah. yeah. The Sunday of PAX, we will still be recording our podcast. Like, oh wow, from oh, PAX. There! Yeah, and Paz yeah. will actually be here in person and, and all that kind of stuff. And so then, that and is then, happening. Be good. And then TwitchCon a month later. I can't be there. A month later. Oh, man. So uh, much stuff. So much stuff. Oh, I can't excited, wait. excited, excited. Yeah. Busy, busy. And maybe we'll have the podcast in the studio soon. I hope so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe we'll I love it. this setup though. It's very we'll, homey. Uh, we'll see. How, well, it's, it's a home, home, but yeah. I do like yeah. this setup. It's so, it it's so is a home. casual yeah. and comfy. It feels. I don't know. I'm in between mm -hmm. Mr. <laughs> Waffle and Dan. How cute! <sighs> can we cuddle, um, pause? We can. We absolutely yes. can. All right. <laughs> Great. Well, I think that does it for us. Thank you, everybody, <laughs> yeah. for you know, welcome to the new era of. Not PG thirteen. I mean, we were kind of there <laughs> yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. We tried. Here's the thing: we tried, we tried, and obviously it and failed. And waffle, wasn't gonna... and waffle failed. Dude, we made not you my know. fucking fault. I swear to fucking. <laughs> and, and I'll have you know, internet, none of that was me. I I had no bearing in the rating. I was not over here telling you. You kept that... bringing up articles about shit. That's true. What do you want us to do with that? <laughs> That's true. Everyone always blames you. Gave me, us like the food, I'm and we, you're not going to eat it. People assume. People assume that I'm over here, like, con trying to convince you all to be clean or whatever. Like, yeah. I, I've no. done none of that. This coming from you know the what? man you know that brought what? up semen eating. You know? Yeah. I, th I think it's drinking. It's first drinking. It's like called semen through us. <laughs> semenology. And semenology. And cooking with cum, you know. Yeah. 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 It's all good. Uh -huh. How many of anyway, uh, we fit this uh, last uh, fucking uh, segment? No. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, shout out to Green Man Gaming. And uh, we'll Woo. be back next week. Um, did vlogger fair, so we can't really give you a necessarily time. Uh, <laughs> Follow our social. And we'll yeah, we'll just yeah. have to tell you. Thank you, everyone. Podcast at Nerfusion TV. Uh, sell out at Nerfusion No, that's not a thing. And, Don't do that. And, and the, the <laughs> podcast feed and 3F.TV slash podcast if you want to subscribe to the audio. Yep. And see we'll, us on we'll iTunes. See you, see you soon, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.